Oh, deer. <laughs> okay, I think that deer's okay. Not sure about my blood pressure. Okay. Back to the field. Okay, so how does this contraption work? <laughs> um does is it something okay, there we go. That's the unfolder thingy. Now is it Is it turned on? My, my guess is that we have to pick these up from the end, too, so that way they stack flat. So do I just do this, and does it do the rest, or do I have to turn other things on? I'm not sure. I've never used this, nor have I seen anybody else use it. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, I guess that works. Okay, let's see if we can grab this one. All right, that's pretty, uh, pretty forgiving in terms of, you know, not having to line it up perfectly. Okay, so it does like a triple stack. That's cool. All right. I can dig this. I want me one of these, man. <laughs> I want one of these. This is so much easier than using the stupid bale forks and trying to get it up on a trailer. The bales are kind of like every which way but straight, so I don't know if there's a really much of a pattern I could follow. Well, sort of, kind of is. But these ones, at least, are kind of all over the place. Now, I think this is one of the smaller ones. Will it still let me pick it up and stack it or not? Well, not if I'm going to do that. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay. So these ones that are kind of the weird size will probably have to come back and get those with our own equipment later because those will be our bonus bales anyways. Now, here's another question. Can I pick this up the wrong direction and will it turn it around? Because if that's the case, then this is really going to be easy peasy. It does. Look at that. <laughs> okay. Well, then we don't need to worry about lining, lining these guys up. What if, it's, what if it's this direction? Nope. Man, this thing's like magic. Okay. Well, that just that just made this job a lot easier. I love this thing, man. I'm not sure how fast we're supposed to go with it, but let's not go too fast. We don't want to break anything. All right. That was an another one of the small ones. Okay. So we'll leave that one. How would you do something like this in first person? It'd be tough. Look at that little readout thingamadoodle. Didn't even notice that before. Okay, so we pull up to here. I can just barely see the arm out the window. 
All right, that got it. But I mean, there is a little bit of uh, magic going on here because it's a video game. I think in real life, I would imagine you'd probably have to hit them, you know, straight on. Or maybe not. Maybe that thing's designed to turn them if you hit them the wrong direction. I can't tell because it's just automatically snapping into the right position, you know? Okay. Let's back up so we can grab this one. Oh, looks like we have... can get four more? Maybe? This is going to be a tall stack. So going to push him back one more? Yeah, it looks like it. All right, so we are at capacity. I'm just curious what it does if I, is if I try to pick up another one. It'll pr probably say no more room or something, probably, right? Oh, it just doesn't do anything at all. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do is lift up the thingy. Uh, lift up the thingy. There we go. Okay. That's the function one. Um, now, we've got to go to the bio plant. I have not been there yet, so I'm not exactly sure where it is, but the map should show us. So we're just looking for an exclamation mark right here. That's the biogas plant. Uh, oh yeah, that's just right up the road from the, from the store. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. I think those bales are on there pretty tightly. I mean, as long as we don't take any real fast corners. Or actually, is there a strap option for these? Nope, no strap option. Okay. Yeah, so let's not get too nutso here. We're going to go nice and easy. It would not be fun if we lost this whole load. Alright, so where do we drop these off at? Those things seem to have silage in them. Okay. Usually there's a, like a little yellow area marked. Am I supposed to drop them off in front of those bins? Okay, guys. So apparently, I I just drop them right in front of in front of the green bins. Um, I'm assuming it doesn't matter which one. So let's get in position here. Okay. So that's function three. But it just stops there. Now what do I do? Oh, unload bales here? Okay. Oh, look at that! Okay. 
I thought this thing stacked the bales, but I guess... Oh, nifty. Okay. I was thinking to put them up like in a big old vertical stack, but I guess it only does that with the square bales. Okay, cool. Um, so... That was the Y key on the keyboard. I must not have that mapped correctly on my side panel. And there it goes. All right, cool. Uh, let's see what that is real quick. Oh, here we go. Okay, so that that's tool function three, which is... Yeah, sh should be mapped to buttons uh, nine on my pad. Both of those are marked as Y, but I guess maybe you wouldn't do them at the same time. So tool function three is, yeah, button nine. I wonder why that wasn't working. That's really odd. What happens if I press it now? Uh, maybe it's not working because it doesn't have anything more to unload. Okay, well... We'll try it the uh, we'll try it the next time with the side panel and see if that makes a difference. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna go back and pick up another load, and um, it's probably gonna take I don't know three or four loads. So I'll bring you back when we are dropping off our last load, and we'll we'll see where we're at at that point. Okay. So see you in a bit. All right, guys, this is our last full load, and then we have a few more left at the field after this. So let's go ahead and um, hit the number nine button, and we have to hit it once, and then we have to hit it again to actually push the bales down. Contract on field is finished. Look at our money going up. Woohoo, baby! Wow, nice. That is all gravy money. $16,412 just, and, and we're not done. I mean, <laughs> there's still more stuff back in the field. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so this has by far been the most lucrative contract I've done so far, and I've had a been having a lot of fun too, you know, just using the bigger equipment for the first time and all that. Um, all right, so let's get go ahead and get... You Oh, you're going to fold up by yourself. All right, cool. So I think we have like three more of the 150 uh, centimeter bales left on the field. Uh, and then I have, you know, a few of those uh, just grass bales and also the uh, a couple of the 125 bales too. And that's all ours. So I wonder if it'll let me pick those up and bring them down here too. Uh, we'll have to see. If not, uh, or if the if the silage plant doesn't take, or I'm sorry, the bio plant doesn't take them, then we could at least you know take them over to to the animal seller or something like that. Wow, hundred and thirteen thousand seven hundred forty nine dollars already. We haven't even turned in the contract yet. That is cool, man. We are getting some bank. I love this trailer too. It's just amazing. All of this equipment that we've worked with today is is like, I need that. <laughs> it's just amazing. Um, that baler that we use is not actually the baler that I thought it was originally. Um, the fast baler. I mean, it was it was a fast baler. It certainly worked good, but it wasn't the one I thought it was. So, yeah, let's see uh, if we can pick up these other bales. So we have a couple, like I said, of the 100, uh, 125s. So there's one here and there's one on the other end of the field. So we'll grab those two first and then um, I guess we'll have to run them down there because it, it doesn't let us put, you know, different size bales on here, which kind of makes sense. And then we have a couple of the really big bales that aren't aren't wrapped. So those will probably just, like I said, um, well, unless the bio uh, plant takes those too. 
I suppose what we could do is look and see who's got the best price. Um, and they're, you know, they're not silage either. They're, they're just grass bales because we couldn't get them wrapped. All right, so I think these are the only two 125s that we did. Let's just kind of drive around. And those are all 150s out in the middle of the field. That's pretty sure that's a 150 at least. And then we have a couple of the really big ones over here. That's, uh, yeah, that's at least a 150. I can't tell if those are exactly the same or not. I don't, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but they're definitely not these. Okay, so let's run these over to, this, uh, to the bio plant, and then we'll come back. We'll get those three, which are the 150s, and then see where we're at from there. Seems like it takes a long time to unload these, but it still beats trying to do it with the front loader. All right, so we got 1164 for those. So each bale was... Um... 580-ish, maybe? Something like that? If I'm doing my math right, which I may not... Oh, I should probably <laughs> fold this thing back up. Uh, <laughs> okay. And those were the little guys. So let's go back and get the, the 150s. Wow. Okay, so 27. Um, 9 goes into 27 three times. So each one of those bells was over $900 a pop because it was a little more than 27. That's cool, man. All right. Let's uh, put everything back here. And uh, let's go get those other three bales, and then we'll figure out what to do with them. They're not going to be as valuable because, of course, they're not um, silage. But still, it's it's gravy money for us. Oh, by the way, in case you were wondering, I talked to um, I gave uh, oh whatever this guy's name was. <laughs> I think his name was Leroy something. A call. Uh, yeah, I called Leroy something. <laughs> <laughs> and asked him if he, if he was cool with me using his tractor and trailer uh, just to haul a couple of the extra bales back, and he said that was fine. So it's cool, man. It's cool. We didn't want to assume without asking, so he was good with it. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay, I think that deer's okay. Not sure about my blood pressure, but. Okay, we got the final bail. Now, uh, let's pause here for a second and look at our prices. And we have grass bales, so we want to go here. Animal dealer's the only one taking those. Okay, so let's do it. All right, so we got about 413-ish or so per bale. That's not so bad. Of course, those were the big bales. All right, you guys, so let's uh, let this thing fold up. We'll turn our contract in. Well, I wonder, if, do I have to have the tractor back at the place before I turn it in? I'm not sure. Let's assume that that's the case. So we'll take it back first, and then we'll turn in our contract and get our the rest of our money and 
we will be in really good shape. Most money we've made so far. And, you know, in one job. By far. <laughs> Okay, we are here. So let's go ahead and, oh, should probably turn the lights off on this, huh? There we go. Um, okay, so let's give uh, Leroy a call and tell him, my lights aren't on, are they? No, they were done. And so we go here, 30,405, space collect. And we are up to $141,906, you guys. We could, uh, oh, yeah, it's all gone. What What happens if you, oh, I'll bet you if you turn it in and you're not back here, it just drops you on the ground. Not that that's a big deal because you can just magic right into your tractor like that but <laughs> um we almost have enough to buy that trailer and still have a hundred thousand the trailer's 50 something let's take a look at it again here so we're looking for um hay or bale loaders so it's fifty thousand five hundred let's look at what's used by the way that is some kind of trailer. Not sure what it's what it's for. Um and then this is some ginormous something or other. These machines are used to seed crops. Oh, it's a big seeder. Ah, oh, awesome. Okay. That's so expensive though. I mean, down the road, right? Oh, this is a manure spreader. Okay, so I get, so I need to look up here because this is actually tells you what it is. Manure spreaders. Okay, well, that's definitely not something we need right now. Maybe down the road. Um. Okay, so so we could we could definitely afford to buy the this bale loader. Um. The question though is is now the right time to to do it? I mean, even this guy would be better than what we have because then we wouldn't you know we'd just drop the bells in and they'd stay in by themselves that's 2150 plus we can change the design of it too yeah uh, this would be a nice trailer for us to have for sure um but i still think maybe we do a couple more jobs and get up to you know, a, a little over 150, so we can buy this and still have a hundred thousand dollars. I mean, we we don't have to do it that way, but I'm just kind of thinking maybe that's the way we should do it. The other option, though, is um, that's a square bale thingy. Let's look at this for a minute. So that picks up square bales and stacks them. Uh, but the problem is, if we're going to do square bales, we're also going to have to invest in a square baler, which I'll probably will do eventually, but I, I think that it's a little too soon for that. We're probably better just stick to the round bales because that's what we have the equipment for at this point in time. Uh, the baler that we used, by the way, was, I think, yeah, it was this Pottinger right here. So that was a nice baler for sure. I wouldn't mind getting a baler that um you know could do the larger bales because we'd just make more money and it would it wouldn't it would take less time because the larger the bales are the the less you have to do so you know what we could do is we could sell our claws claws you guys will have to tell me how to pronounce that um and buy this pottinger but then if we do that that's gonna that's gonna put us back even more and it'll take longer for us to look at that size of that thing. It's just enormous. I think this is the, the fast baler thingy here. Um, but that's also a square baler too. A bumper. With this tool, poplar can be pushed down to be taken 
by the bio baler. Oh, that's for poplar trees. How interesting. Bio balers are used to process poplar into bales. A baler turn. Yeah, okay. That's a ginormous thing too, that crone. We're going to stick with what we have and we're going to get up to 150 grand ish. And I want to buy that pickup trailer because that's just going to save us so much time. Um, you know, when the time comes. Okay. So that is the plan. All right, you guys. Well, it is September the 2nd. It's 9.49 a.m. We still have lots of time left in this day, but what we don't have is lots of time left in this episode. <laughs> so I'm going to let you guys go here, and uh, I'm probably going to pick up in the next episode pretty much right here where we left off and start working on some more contracts. Um, actually, before I let you go, why don't we go ahead and see uh, what else is available. Um, so we just spam X until something comes up. I don't want to do it too fast because the last time I did it fast, I accidentally accepted it before I was ready to. Okay, maybe a little faster. Oh, come on, man. Really? What if we hit that and then this? Okay. <laughs> I don't know why it's not working now. It worked before. Details on. <clears throat> I thought I thought these contracts would show up all the time with that mod. Um let me let's look at something here. Let's go. Let's go here and save the game. Okay, now we're gonna quit out to the main menu. Yeah, okay, so better contracts is enabled. Hmm. Well, before I was just spamming the, the the that button there, and then eventually something would pop up, but it didn't take that long before, so I'm not sure. I might have to read up a little bit more on what that's supposed to do. Let's just see what happens when we log back in now. Okay. It doesn't seem to be working. Clear new. Okay. Well. If we go to downloadable content and we go here, better contracts is installed. <clears throat> Excuse me. The maximum number of contracts in the amount generated per cycle is automatically adjusted to the number of fields on the map. You can immediately generate, it says, you can immediately generate new contracts through the new contracts button or delete all of them with the clear contracts. But that's not immediately happening, so I have a feeling like something's not quite working right. What if I put the game entirely? And then start it back up. I might have not done that, actually. Sometimes when you install mods, you, you need to restart the game. Let's just see what happens. I, I, I read that to say, as soon as I hit that button, new contracts come up. Um, okay, so let's go into here. It is enabled. Okay, start the game. Okay, now let's go into here. Okay, yeah. Um I'm either doing something wrong, which is entirely possible, or this is this mod's not quite working the way it should. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't think that's working. Oh, gone it. All right. Well, what ifs? All right, you guys. Well, anyway, I need to let you go here, so I'll um uh, if I can't get this thing to work, then I guess I'm just going to have to go back to the tedious log out log back in log out log back in until something pops up it really shouldn't be that way though um i mean it did say it's based upon available fields but 
there's got to be tons of fields around here that need work on them, I would think. So, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to let you go here. We'll start up the next episode. Um, probably, it depends upon what the next contract is. If I get another uh, just, you know, easy peasy bailing contract for a few thousand dollars, I'm going to do that off camera. But the next time we get something big uh, or probably more accurately something new that we haven't done yet, that's probably when I'll bring you guys back. Otherwise, I'm going to grind to at least 150000 and uh, we're going to buy that trailer because I've been wanting that for uh, quite some time. All right, guys, so that is it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.